Well, how do the jumps? I am inside of Starfield. Yet again, I'm just getting myself back to the Neuron system. I guess, because I'm, I'm trying to 100% scan the Neuron system. We've got two moons left. This one, Androphon, and this little critter, critter here, Grimsy. This one has only got a couple of resources left to be found upon it let's let's go there i think let's do this one okay well let's travel to this area of space there we are yes please set a course and jump we're on our way to grimsy people uh let's uh do a button on here imagine her cures right so we've arrived at it this lovely moon there's a lot of freaking debris around here as well people isn't there okay well let's uh, let's see if we can scan this planet now that we're in its local personata we can indeed chikapow well it's got four resources would you look at that okay it's got a free star amongst them okay well let's uh, let's just set it on over here there's a one there was a one diamondy one uranium okay let's see if we can get a bit closer to this resource volcanic Oh, a volcanic planet. I think I might have just gone and selected part of the night system, though, people, in my excitement, which isn't great. I'll tell you what, I reconvene on a light side. OK, so here we are on the light side of Grimsy. Yeah, we just missed a lovely little animation of it landing there, but this is still a volcanic area. Now, somebody pointed out to me, Captain Steve, if you go inside, of the buildings you've got a higher chance of getting yourself some ammos for free mate they're freaking right aren't they we might have to do that because i'm low on ammo right well let's bring up the old scanner let's have a look see what we can scan we'd head towards this building then before we start getting all the resources well hopefully we'll find some resources on the way there people that we can scan oh look there's a cheeky little number right there now also people also pointed out that i can scan up to 50 meters away I can indeed. Look at that. Well, that was 25 meters. But yes, my scanner is level two. And so I should be all right for that. Hey, look, there's a harvester there. I think that's a, a helium harvester. So where you see these patches on the ground, that's a good indication of a place to put your own sort of harvesters to get that sort of material. So if I was to put a harvester there, I'd get uranium. I can make my own uranium farm. Freaking mentals. Anyway, we've got three of the four of the resources before we've even gone to this facility. Come on, well, we're going to go inside this facility and see if we can get ourselves some more ammo. But then after that, I'm going to be going to these places. So yeah, I'll tell you what, whenever I go to Dead Moons, I will try and get some ammo and we'll go inside of these buildings in future episodes, people. Just to make them a little bit more varied, a little bit more rounded off. Aha! You see this red sort of panel over here? I've come across one of these before as well. Although it says emergency sort of thing. Oh, what the fudge is that? It's a little creature. What's a creature doing on a planet like this? Hello, little creature. Hello. Oh, ain't he cute? Okay. Well, I can't scan him. All right, we'll, that, we'll just zap him then. <laughs> yeah. What the, indeed. But yeah, these patches, look, if you actually cut these, okay, cut pins, it tells you to cut them. If you cut them, it actually opens a door. It, it, oh, it, help, it helps if you zoom in on these as well. You can cut them really quick then. Look, boom. Boom. There we go, we're in. How cool is that? Secret back entrance. Fuck yes. Who's there? What? I am. Captain Steve. Who said I'm that? There. What the fudge? Who's in here? Oh, fudge and heck. What are you doing? What are you doing, mate? Freaking heck. That's not, that's not how you welcome people. Normally, you bring tea. Cup of tea, slice of cake, maybe a biscuit. You don't zap people in the frickin' face. That's just not welcoming, is it? Yeah? Learn some manners. Who the fudge just shot me? Yeah? Frickin' yeah, yeah, I would run, mate. I'm frickin' gonna cut you up with a bloody mining tool. Yeah, I'd like them frickin' apples. Yeah. Next time, biscuits. Preferably custard creams. Kit. 
I'm getting with half that. That's not cake! Oh, for fudge sake, come out from there. I want to kill you with my frickin' mining tool. All right, we'll go up, we'll go up and kill him. Well, we'll have that. That's not cake, but it would do. What's over here? Oh, extreme heat, extreme heat. Yeah, we don't want to go there. Oh, cool. I'm like Superman. Oh, sorry, mate. That's my friend. Can I jump up there? I frickin' can. Right, you. You are gonna get it in the freaking face. Yeah, how'd you like that? Ah, oh, for fudge sake, I'm gonna have to go after him now. Yeah! How'd you like that death from above? I was supposed to loot him. I wasn't supposed to jump all that way up there, but that was pretty cool, isn't it? All right, well, um, this is pretty awesome. Hold on. You shooting my friend in the face, or is my friend shooting you? I don't know. Are you a good guy? Just get out of the flames! Get out! Oh, for fudge sake. I hope he's invincible, my little friend, there. Eh? You, you are my friend, aren't you? Yes, adoring fan. He's just crouching in flames. What the actual fudge is wrong with him? Okay, can we go inside of here? No, I don't think they were ghosts, for fudge sake. You will be though, standing in that frickin' fire like that. That's um that's a little bit silly. Oh we got some ammo. Yes, that was a good idea coming in here to get ammo. Oh, that looked like a nice gun. We'll have to look at that later, maybe. Oh, you you've decided to join us then. You liked that warm area though, didn't you? Oh look, there's another guy. Where did he come from? Well, we're gonna get him. Super Steve! How dare they try to damage a priceless work of art. Exactly, mate! Frickin' how dare they indeed? Quite right. You know, he might be annoying, but he's never wrong. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, Barchak! Am I going in here? I have that, please. Storage box, don't mind if I do. Big pair of pliers. Okay, we're heading into here. There seems to be another one of those little friendly snake creatures inside of here that I killed earlier. There he is, look. He's dead now. Okay, right. Should we go down that way? I don't know. I don't think I can zap my way out of this one. Oh, great. I think I've just um, alerted them to my presence inside of here. I don't think I can cut my way out of this one. So I'm not too sure what I'm supposed to do now. Maybe there's another entrance into this facility that I don't know about. Hmm. Okay. Alright, well, we went through the vents, which did me no favours. Aha! They've opened the door! Let me in! Don't close that door! Holy fudge! I'm on freaking fire! How do I not be on fire? Okay, there we go. I'm not, I'm not on fire anymore. Execute. No, don't execute! That's, um... They still haven't learned the pleasantries, have they, of what's expected of when the captain arrives. Right, we're gonna have to teach them a lesson! Yeah, you're having fun, good. Right, let's see if we can spot these frickin' ruffians that don't offer tea! And biscuits! Yeah! A scone with some cream would be nice as well. Oh, for punch sake, one camera mode. I was trying to hit him with melee attack. Well, that got that one. Where did the other one go that flew away? He sort of took to the skies, didn't he? Oh, there you are. Yeah. Oh, dear. I must have pressed the activate button or something on him. He exploded. Yeah, there we go. We're reloading now. We're using a gun on these ones. Take that, you, you freaking eejit. Okay, right, let's go back over here. Let's see if there's any loot to be had off these ones that exploded and stuff. Oh, look! We got an epic! Oh, poison modified Grendel. Oh, that is pretty cool. Might have to give that to my adoring fan.
Oh dear, this guy's this guy's freaking beefed up. This guy must be a boss or something. Okay, right. Let's, let's use my shotgun on him then. Oh come on, I picked up shotgun shells just the other day. Ah, oh, some biscuits. Okay. Um, we haven't got shotgun shells. I, j I wish there wasn't so many ammo types in this game. Uh oh. Yeah, you're in trouble once I learn how to aim. Well, you're still doing a good enough job of killing me. Right. Back to the mining laser. In the freaking face, you freaking get back! Freaking die! Freaking have it! Yeah! Mining laser to death, mate! That's the end of you! Oh god, you git! We got him. How did you get there? What did. How the devil did. Was I standing in fire the whole time? Is that why I was taking so much bloody damage? Oh, for fudge's sake, it probably was, isn't it? Alright. Well, my health is low now. There's a box round here, though, that I want to open. Here we go. We got it. Oh, I think. I just risked being burnt alive for that bloody box. How did you get round here? Okay. Alright, fine. There must be another. Oh, there is another door. Look, he came in through there. Wise choice, my friend. Okay. Well, I think we're done. I think we've done everything inside of here. I think we're good to go now. Um, I mean, we could collect all this junk. Not that we really need it. Oh, there's a safe there. Can I get into the safe? No, obviously not. Why is it freaking blue then? Oh, there we go. Nope. Still can't. Unlock. Oh, we need advanced safe work or something. I need a, a special skill for that, apparently. Research lab. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Is this just like the research... Oh, it's the same as the research lab on my own freaking ship, so that's pointless. Righto, well, we've done that then. Okay, so we've done a building, we've got ourselves some ammo. And now I'm not too sure on how to get out of here, because, you know, it was like a freaking maze, wasn't it? So, you know what, let's just go back to here. Can I fast travel back to my ship? You can't fast, fast travel when there's enemies nearby. I barbecued them all! They're all dead! At least I hope they are. Now right. well, I think we I think we looted every dead body that we created. Yes, we created murder and death. I know I'm a creative individual. I do try anyway. Okay, well I think we came out this way, and then I think the door I made was over here, wasn't it? There you go. It's not so bad. I think it's down here. There we go. Somewhere around here is where I came in, isn't it? And then I created all this death and destruction, didn't get a cup of tea. I'm sure it was. It was somewhere around here. Arse. Okay. Where is it? Here it is, maybe? Yeah. There we go. We're out. Cool. Oh, I didn't, I didn't loot that guy. Righto. Back to scanning rocks, people. I know. You're freaking marvellous, huh? Okay, right. So, um, we probably won't go to another building this episode. We're going over there to the unknown area. Hopefully we'll find our last mineral on the way. If we do, I'll let you know. There we go, people. I've spotted the last mineral. You can see here, I'm, I'm right at the cusp of my range. Let's see if I can scan it. No. Okay. Bit closer, bit closer. Let's see when I can. I'm just going to keep pressing the scan. I think 30 metres is probably my limit then. There we go, 30 metres. That's odd. I'm sure I upgraded to level 2. Let me just check my levels and skills. And go over to scanning because I'm sure on my hand scanner I put it up to level two surveying. Oh look, rank three. Oh okay, yeah, I'm not quite up there yet. It's when you get to level level five, level four that you can do that. Well, let's upgrade it again. There we go. We can now do 40 meters worth of scanning, people. I might as well get it to the top limit of what I can do, mightn't I? Because if I can scan freaking creatures from a distance, at least I'm not going to get bitten by the little. Gets. Anyway, I'll see you when I get there, but we've managed to do all the minerals on this planet. Well, I was getting a bit bored of my little fan guy, Darren, being in sort of Back to know, work, pirate armour, so I stuck him in this getup that we just robbed from inside that building. You look freaking fantastic now, my friend. I guess you do. Right, okay, how far away am I? I also gave him the poison Grendel. Yes, it's got a new gun. Okay, we're heading there. We're still 200-odd metres away, though, people. 
Okay, well, I'll just use my jetpack and saw what's over this hill. Look at this. Look at this. All these freaking lovely crystals. What the actual fudge. This is so awesome. Okay, right. Well, let's go scan some of these then. That's awesome, isn't it? I love these low atmospheres where your jetpack recharges as you're using it. You can just jump all over the place like a crazed grizzel. This is awesome. Apart from now, I can't for some reason. There we go. Boom. Crystalline minerals. That is pretty darn epic. Now, there's two to find on here. I don't know whether that's going to do it because that's a structure over there, isn't it? Hmm, structure of some kind. You see, that I scan that. People told me that you can hover over and scan them and it tells you what they're going to be. So what's this over here? Let's hit that. Natural. I wonder if this is the same as this. Maybe I need to go to another area on this planet. Hmm. I think that's probably the case. We'll head back to the ship and we'll fly to another area. Another biome. Of course. Why in the fudge not? Fast travel, please. Yes, please. Fast travel. Why are you not fast traveling then? All right. Bit odd. You're carrying too much to fast travel. Oh, great. Okay, fine. Well, I give a little bit more to my enduring fan and then I'll probably be able to get over there. Yeah, who cares? Okay, so I'm back on my old shifty ship. Oh, and I've got to hit exit ship rather than stand up. That's not really too much of a problem because although I just want to put some stuff inside of my inventory, you can do it from outside of your ship. So if you just go to your inventory here, you should be able to... Ah, no, you have to do it from this menu down here. And then you can um, go into cargo hold by pressing X. So that's my frontier, but then you can swap to your inventory like that. And you can just chuck stuff in there. So I'm going to weapons. I could sort of put that one in there because I'm keeping that for Sarah. Um, oh, that's quite nice. I might as well stow all of these and then sell them. So I might as well get rid of that. I'm probably... Well, I do. I have used that. Rescue axe. Yeah, oh, we've got six rescue axes. Look at that. Might as well stow five of them. Oh, suppressed calibrated Grendel. No way. Long barrel, suppressor, armor-piercing rounds. Oh, that's a weapon and a half. We're going to be we're going to be favoriting that one. I guess we are. Uh, I'll do it from another menu. But there we go. I've stored or stowed all of those. The only thing is, if I want to get all the stuff off of um, my compondre here so i'm gonna to have to talk to him now something on your mind yes there's always room and then i need to sort of oh okay why is it in this menu it's showing all uh okay frontier adoring fan here we go so i should be able to go into here now and i should be able to get start s stowing these maybe take all inspect um yes yeah, so if i take that off of him so take Take that as well. Might as well take everything he doesn't need. We'll take the old Gren the old Grendels away. There's ten of them there. Take them. We'll take all those. And yeah, and then I'm just going to stick them in the ship. I'll be accessing the ship again and putting them over there. So, oh cool. Might as well take the pirate spacesuit off of him. Yep. Oh. I didn't actually recruit, give him a backpack. All right, I gave him one, but then didn't recruit it by the looks of things. Might as well take the cutters off of him. And I leave him with all this sort of stuff that he's got equipped. And I leave him with these these types of ammo. Hold on, why has he got 32 of them, though? All right, well, he hasn't got any laser cannons, so he doesn't really need them. And this gun that he's got is 7.7. .7, so he only needs a 7.7s. He doesn't need those either. So we take that off of him, too. All right, so that's everything off of him. And I just need to come back out of here. Let's keep moving. Go back Onward into this menu, go into Frontier, and then go into Cargo Hold, which is X. And then if I press L1 or LB or whatever, I've got to then stow all this stuff. So let's go into here. And yeah, there we are. We can store those. Um, I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep... No, that's the 10 normal Grendels. But yeah, I think you get the idea. I'll be right back with you in a bit. Okay, well, there's not too many different biome types on this. It's all volcanic. I've checked everywhere. So we're just going to go there anyway. And we're going to go see if there is anything worth having here. A point of interest, because we've still got one more point of interest to do to get the 100%. That's one of my Pictiars that I've taken. I've got quite a few Pictiars. I'll treat you to those. I guess I will.
yeah, towards the end of all this, you know. Anyway, let's uh, let's scan. Look, that 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 looks interesting over there. Whatever that is, I mean, it's a structure. You can scan it. Yeah, obviously it's a structure. Let's have a look around. See if there's anything else for anything else. That looks like it might be a landing site. Oh, I've scanned the adoring fan now. Got in my way. It's a hazard of some kind. I wonder if that is going to be the point of interest. I mean, we can head to the hazard and find out, can't we? Okay, we're heading to the hazard then, because I can't see any other sort of question marks or heartbeats. So yeah, we head to that. We'll see what that is. Okay, people, we're pretty darn close to whatever this hazard is. Righto, here we go. There's something blue here. Let's give that a scan. Let's see if that does the trick. I don't think it has. So we've scanned one of two. There's another one somewhere around here then. Let's go over here. Let's see if there it is. So we scan those. Yes, that done it. It's a thermal crater, people, inside the view of us. I guess. Let's get a picture of me standing by this thermal crater, shall we? Freaking awesome. Oh, damn. Some of the smoke effects disappeared. But that's actually pretty cool anyway. All right. Well, I just need to sort of tweak this one. Let's, um, let's go for the old themed. Let's go for uh, something like... Hmm. Well, that's quite cool. Yeah, that's quite nasa -y, doesn't it? We'll go with that. Chicka-pow! All right, people. Well, I've taken quite a few photos. I'll treat you to those, people. Well, I haven't done photos for a little while. Here you go. Here's a couple of my photos from the previous planets visited in the Neuron system. That's me and my ship. I guess I'm venturing out to these shiny plants. Oh, gosh. I think that was on planet Samati. Could be wrong, though. And another. Just for just good. Yeah, and another. I guess. And there I am on planet Samati. Yes, there's some freaking evil hunter crabs on this planet, people, that you want to avoid like the plague. There I am by a lovely giant potato rock. Of course. And there I am, running away from Daza on planet Samati. And there are some of those horrible hunter crabs and some of the other indigenous wildlife. And there I am just looking off at the potato rock in vast yonder. There I am running around amongst all these lovely plants, of course, flowers. And there I am inside of the poles of planet Samati. It's the same planet, it's just very freaking icy. And there's a little, that one's actually quite friendly. He doesn't do anything. He's, he's a nice little creature, that one. And there I am at one of my final points of interest on planet Samati, people. Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it great? Of course it is. And uh, that's all my photos. That's all my photos so far. Well, okay, chums, it's time for my pictures. Here's my first picture of me mid-flight on the planet. I guess, well, moon, whatever you want to call it, I guess. And there I am on a cover of a magazine. Why? Because I deserve to be. That's why, heck yes, with my running skills on moons. There I am taken to the sky on this new flight manual of how to use your jet pack. Yes, as per Captain Steve's instructions. And there I am, again, just in the photo that was used for the cover of that. Yeah, I know, it's freaking majestic, isn't it? Hope goes. And I think you saw me take this pitch, yeah? Yes, you did, with my camera. Yeah, pretty darn freaking lovely, isn't it? Not sure which one I'm using as a thumbnail, people. Which one would you have used? Right, so there we go. They're my PTRs. Hope you like them. A gift. I hope it's worthy of your gift. Well, thank you, Daza. Right, well, we're going to take on off anyway, people. There's somewhere that I want to go inside of this system. Because if you've probably noticed, I've picked up a few different status oh, elements. Oh, and away. I guess I'm up and away. Tarana! Which means let's go into Galon. Tarana! Coolio! I do like the old, tele the old Tagalog word. They're actually quite cool. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly to this nearby space station just here and I'm going to go and get my health restored. It only costs 500 freaking units or whatever the currency is inside of this. Let's go there. Cool. So, yeah, if I am to get ammo, you know, there's probably going to be a a thing that happens quite a lot this you know so let's start flying over yeah going inside those facilities taking out all those pirate guys at least i've got a load of xp as well so i think it's a good shout whenever i'm on a dead moon that hasn't got any life do this sort of stuff you know 
add a little bit extra in to the surveying and show how you get around the sort of ne negated effects. But because I got some awesome armor sets in there and all sorts of stuffage. All right, let's let's hail this guy. Hail. It's always nice to hail first. You entered the clinic's space. Please dock or leave the area clear for incoming patients. I'm on my way. I've got some elements that I need attended. I guess I do. There we go. So now we're actually aboard. We can we can un we can board by pressing X. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the neck if you haven't press the wrong button. There, people, as a heads up, it really is. I found something you might like. Have you? It's shaped reminded me of you. Really, what did you find? I'm not too sure what he gave me. Anyway, my burns have healed themselves There's on the so way here. So, I've still got other sort of ailments. Where's the doctor? Doctor, doctor! You're not him. Is that him? Is he having his morning tea? You had a chance to talk to Dr. Cassidy. Really no. fun guy. No. Try humor, though. I'm, I'm so not, not here to speak well, to Dr. Kennedy. Every new alien pathogen we discover is just Dang a it. little more job security. Where's, where's the doctor that I usually talk to? He's a lovely guy. Is that him over there? With the mop in his hand? Excuse me? It's not him, is it? Yeah, that's him. There's such a mountain of work, I could really use a hand. But I don't want to inconvenience anyone. Well, I would like to help you if I can. You've, you've helped me enough times. Oh, well, that's appreciated. There really isn't anything you're qualified to do in here. No offence, of course. Oh, fine. But, hmm. I do have some data requests from other facilities in the settled systems. Fine, no problem. Everyone always wants to know what we're up to. Sure. Usual courier has been less than reliable lately. So if you could get this slate where it needs to go, that would help us. And put a few credits in your pocket. Well, I'll be back here to get fixed up because, you know, you're awesome. So yeah, there we go. So you go. I need some help, Doc. I've got a light patient load right now. So let's see what you need. I'm not seeing anything wrong with you. Really? And it's not often I get to say that. No, it's not. I, I had loads Take of ailments of before yourself. I came in here. I did, honestly. I was bleeding and I had all sorts of other stuff going on. What the actual fudge? I'm all right now. OK. All right, fine, people. Well, there you go. That was today's adventure. We managed to completely survey that moon. Let's just make sure that it is doubly surveyed. Kaboom. There it is. 100% surveyed. We only have one more planet left to do now, which is this one over here. Androphon. We're going to be going there next time, people. I guess we are. Brilliant, eh? Thank you for watching. Cheery bye! <laughs>